Hello and welcome to the Miracle Minded Podcast. This is Nicole Sylvester and we are about to drop in on a topic that I just know is going to speak to you. I know that you are going to feel like, yeah, this happens to me. Maybe it's happening to you right now. My intention for sharing this particular episode with you is to help you become aware of and then untangle yourself from the voice of familiar, the voice of keeping you safe, the voice that actually is holding you back from your expansion zone. And I want to let you know that we all have this voice. We all have this. We're actually wired and built this way. And what I'm talking about is the voice, the feeling, the sensations, the safety mechanism that kicks in when your intuition is leading you into new territory, whether it's new territory in a lifestyle choice, new territory in a money situation, new territory in creation and business, new territory in relationships. If you're headed to new territory, your brain, your body has a response for that. And it is designed to keep you safe, not keep you happy, joyous, and abundant. It's part of our survival system. It wants to keep us safe, but in reality, for 99.5% of these choices, we're not going into true unsafety. We're not going into a space where we're risking our lives, but what we're risking is our ego. (laughs) We're risking the fear of rejection. We're risking the fear of like, what if it doesn't work? What if it doesn't go the way you planned? What if, what if, what if? And the thing I want to remind you of is that in our, like truly in our divine destiny, in the cultivation of us becoming all we're meant to be, everything's not supposed to go that we want it to go. Like, of course, that is desirable. (laughs) It's desirable to never fall down. It's desirable to never have something go the way that you didn't want it to go. It's desirable to think that like all you do is win. But in the cultivation of your character, In your divine destiny, things are going to go haphazardly. Things are going to go in a way that you're like, what the hell was that? You're going to be invited to stretch and to to become. And that is a good thing. It's not going to happen every time. Sometimes you're just going to be like, oh my God, look at me. It's so amazing. It always goes the way I want it to go. Yeah, but there's times where things don't go the way you want them to go. And in that, it's actually still working for your highest good. I can think of so many times where that was the case for me. So the next time something does not go as planned, I want to remind you to pause and remind yourself that there is a greater something that's unfolding. Stop, look, listen, witness, embrace, feel it. Like there's something that you're being guided to do. There's a new direction. There's clarity. There's something that's emerging in that moment there's divine guidance there there's wisdom there which by the way if you don't already have it and you want to download my new audio training series trust yourself and the divine more than ever i want to give that to you it's absolutely free right now and you can get it down below when you listen make sure that you see the reflection questions at the bottom this is absolutely free see the link below check it out now what i want to let you also know is that today something happened and this is a great lesson and I thought this is so interesting that this happens to happen as I'm putting out this message for you. So probably about eight or nine hours ago, I tried to record this intro and upload this podcast for you and it was interesting because I had downloaded the video from Instagram Live I was converting the file from a movie to an audio file, which you guys, I mean, come on now. This this is something I didn't know how to do a year ago, <laughs> but now I know how to do all these things. So I was like, let me get beyond the identity of I don't know how to do these things. So anyway, I was converting the file, but I have a brand new laptop. I've just got a brand new MacBook Air. And let me tell you, I'm freaking loving it because Chanel spilled ramen on my last macbook and then i was just using my imac for a little bit at the house um and then we had a really we had an older imac but let me just tell you the new ones it is really nice and i got the gold color 
which is called Starlight. I don't know if you all have ever seen the other gold. I ordered the gold before and it came out more like rose gold, pink almost, and I wasn't a huge fan of it. Um, but now the one now is truly like a very subtle gold. So anyway, so on this brand new computer, I do not have my typical podcast set up. So this morning I sit down to do this and it was not working. The file was not converting. When I did convert it and I uploaded it to the software to, you know, edit it and make it right for putting it out there, it was sounding staticky. And I was just like, you know what? Chanel and I were supposed to go down to the beach. Like literally she was already in her swimsuit and I thought it was going to take me five minutes, but 30 minutes later, it just wasn't working. So I said, you know what? I don't even need to put this out on a podcast. I'm, I'm fine. I'll just wait. I'll figure it out at a later time. So all was well. We went to the beach. We came home. I made lunch. I even took a nap. So much has transpired. And I'm sitting at the dining room table here. And I have a call with my friend. I get off the phone and I look at my laptop and something says, put the podcast up. Try it again. I go on. I look at the audio file and it's working. It worked instantly. First time went from a a movie to an MP4 to an MP3. All things worked the way they needed to work. And it just happened in an instant. But in that moment, I thought, well, I want to record a new intro. Something that is sharing the nowness of this (laughs) share that I'm going to give to you. So I want to share that with you because what that was a reminder for me is in the theme that's been going down. Don't force it. Like, don't force it. Don't force a thing. Don't force a thing. Like, we don't need to force it. Earlier, it started to feel like I was pushing. And then I said, I'm just going to let this go. And then later, nothing even happened except the energy changed, the time changed. And it just easily, easily flowed. And now I get to share this message with you. So the final thing I want to say that's really important before you get into the true like substance of this episode, which is this clip from the video I'm going to share, is that Monday we start Money Miracles. Monday we start Money Miracles. And the next time I run Money Miracles will be in the spring of 2025. A lot can happen between now and then. But the thing I want to tell you about this round of Money Miracles that's happening that's never happened before is that in these six live sessions that we're leading, I have a plan to call the women that are in this program to a new level of accountability of their energy, of their behaviors, of their beliefs, and to truly change how they show up. I had already shared on this live, and you're going to hear it later in this episode, that I said, do not come to Money Miracles for inspiration. There's going to be inspiration, of course, but I want you to come for transformation because that's what I'm holding you to. I'm holding you to transformation. This is not something to get inspired for an instant, for a moment, and just move on with your day. This is about rewiring, rewriting, and repurposing the way you see yourself, the way you relate to money, the understanding you have of your value, the way that you believe and how we can find the clues for what you believe in your external environment, in your relationships, in your bank account, in your work. I'm going to help you unpack and untangle all of this. And here's what I want to say. If you've been in my world for a while and you feel like you're not quite getting that breakthrough you desire or things you you break through and then it feels like it doesn't sustain, I want to just nudge you to get into this round of Money Miracles because what we're going to do in the six weeks live, I have not done before. I have not done this before. And that's because me as this version of me has not delivered this program like this before. And likely next spring when I do this, it will be three. It will go back. We'll go back to the normal way of running this program, which when I say the normal traditional way of running this, it is a 
It is the program. You get the modules every single Monday at 6 a.m. Eastern. You get to dive into the work. You get to do the meditations. You get to do the workbook. You get to listen to the module videos and have your transformations. And every other week, we have a live call so that I can support you. But this round, we are going on a journey with weekly calls. And in these weekly sessions, I am going to set something forth right away in session one. And I'm going to invite you to a next level of accountability, implementation, and integrity with the way you hold yourself to a new money standard, a new, truly it's a new self-worth relationship. This is not about money, but it is going to impact your money so deeply. This is about you not settling. This is about you stepping in and deciding what you deserve. And this is about you matching your energy your choices, your thoughts, and overcoming the part of you that has settled, overcoming the part of you that says, I can't afford it, but overcoming the part of you that has shut down desires, that feels like your abundant future is far off, that has been shrinking yourself to put it, put yourself in the spaces you don't belong. I am going to guide you to overcome that part of you. But at the end of the day, you have free will, whether you want to do it or not. But what I will say is for those of you that have never done Money Miracles before, having these live sessions this round with the program, it's going to be next level. It's going to be just revolutionary for you. And for those of you that are students of the program, you've already completed it before. You have it in your library. I want to invite you to do the Money Miracles Mastery. That is the alumni program. Come in, do the six weeks, bring a beginner's mind. And I want to invite you to go full out, play full out, have a full on experiment with me. Do the practices that I'm sharing in the live sessions. If you do, your life is going to be changed. You are going to be a different human on the other side. That's my promise to you. So that is all happening right now. I am actually, I'm just adjusting my position. I'm sitting on this lounge chair, looking out over the ocean. The sun is setting. I'm here in Uh, like North Miami Beach area. And let me tell you, it is a freaking masterpiece out there when I say it's a masterpiece because it's just all the shades of blue, the clouds. We went swimming earlier and we went swimming for a very brief time because it was so sunny and hot. And I was like, you know what? I did not even bring my sunscreen down with me. I only applied it upstairs. And I've just been really mindful of skincare since I did the microneedling. I've always been someone that's like, I can do whatever I want in the sun because my dad is Sicilian and he can be out in the sun. He never wears sunscreen. He never wears sunblock. He's always just out there and he doesn't have like age spots or anything. And his mother too, she is 92 and you should see her skin. It has always been so nice. She Right now she lives in a home, but before that she would be walking around town just five years ago. She would be walking around town back in Downingtown, Pennsylvania, where all of them have lived forever. And um, she was, you know, late 80s. And people would be like, oh my God, your skin. Like my friends would always comment. And the thing is, you know what she said her trick was? Olive oil and Vaseline, my friends. Okay, so for all of us that are spending $90 on skin creams, that's the the skincare code of my grandmother. <laughs> but for her, I think a part of it was genetics for sure. So my whole point of all of this was that I went swimming for a brief period. But I've been a lot more mindful because I do not have those same genetics as my grandmother. I definitely was seeing age spots and things like that starting to show up on my skin. I mean, I'm going to be 42 on Friday. So I am... You know, I'm seeing those things, but I will tell you, it was crazy. Just one round of microneedling really improved the look and the feel of my skin. So I will be back. I don't know that I'll be back in Vegas living, but I will be going back for skincare because look, not everyone does it the same. I'm going to tell you that they can use the same tool, but not everyone does it the same because I've had it before. This woman did her thing. She did her thing. Um, if you're in Las Vegas, the place was called The Look Med Spa. It was great. She was great. Uh, Shelby was the woman I went to. So anyway, that's enough of all of this. Let's get into this episode. If you have any questions about money miracles, reach out. If you are on the fence about money miracles and you're 
like, I don't know if I can afford it. I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I should do it. Here's something that my mentor said a long time ago. And this really stuck with me and it stayed with me. If you can't afford it, you can't afford not to. And look, there's going to be some things that we truly do not have the money for. Like it's not there. There's no way to get to it. There's there's no availability. There's that reality that happens at times. I, I know firsthand I've been there more times than you know. I've also been the kind of person that figures the thing out so many times. And I will also say this. For the person that has it but kind of leans into that I don't have it or I feel like there's that enough or it feels tight or I need to be more responsible or I need to save my money. When it comes to making investments in something that unlocks your understanding of your self-worth, of your ability to tap into your infinite resources, if there's something that's going to help you rewrite, rewire, and expand your relationship to money, then you're not spending money. You're investing. And an investment is something that continues to pay dividends for you to the rest of your life. This is a lifetime program. There's a window where it opens up here in the spring of each year. And this is the window. There's so much that can happen for you between now and the next six weeks. There's so much that can happen for you and open up for you. The way that you see yourself, the standards you hold, the way you speak life over your money, the way that you manifest miracles, the way that you hold a new standard, all of these things can change drastically and continuously between now and next year when money miracles open. So if you're someone that says, I'll wait till next year, a lot can happen in those periods of I'll wait until next year. Like why would we wait when there's something that calls? So If you're someone that's on that edge and you need the courage or you need an answer or you need some feedback, reach out to me. If it's not the right thing for you, I honestly will tell you that. I'll direct you in a different direction. But if it's right for you, I will be a champion for you doing the thing that is going to take you to a new level. Because one thing I know for sure is I'm going to be pouring into the women that are in this program for six weeks. This is something I really value. It's something that's important to me and you are important to me. You deserve your breakthrough. You deserve to see yourself differently. You deserve to live your most rich and abundant and wealthy life and a life that feels like this is a life I'm meant to live. Not watching everyone else's life like must be nice one day, I hope. I want you to step into whatever you're being called to now and I want to help you. So I cannot wait to see you in there. There's a payment plan. There's an option to finance. There's an option to pay in full. And if you pay in full, you save the most and you actually get a bonus program. And again, there's the alumni program for everybody that's already done it, but you want to be back in the energy because the energy is incredible. So enjoy this episode. I know I've been talking for a while, but I had a lot I wanted to share with you. So I'm sending you so much love and to all my mamas out there, happy Mother's Day. May you feel seen, celebrated, and loved on this day. And make sure that you look in the mirror today and just remind yourself of how incredible you are, how much you've done, how you show up. Acknowledge the blessings and the goodness that are there. Um, For those mothers out there that feel like they don't have someone or that they're alone, I, I went through that especially when my daughter was younger and I, this is going to take me on a whole other thing. I'm not going to say too much, but I know someone must need it if it's coming up for the mothers that feel like you're not seen. Maybe you've gone through a split up or divorce. Maybe you are, you know, just longing. You would love to be held and supported and seen by a partner on mother's day. I just want to let you know that you're not alone in that. I used to be there and that time changes that. At least for me, it really did change that because I started to acknowledge myself differently. I started to really connect to my own love, my own source and supply and to understand the power in that. And now anyone else's acknowledgement, anyone else's uh, celebration of me is bonus. It's beautiful. I love it. And it's knowing that We're not lacking anything. So be sure to look around and see how much beauty is really around you. Even if your children don't know enough, they're at an age where they can't celebrate you properly or, you know, they don't even get what day it is. 
just look at their eyes, look at their smile, look at the gift of them being there and you having that, like there's, there's beauty in that. So may you feel it and may you see the beauty in yourself. All right, that's it. Enjoy this clip. I'll see you on the other side. Hello friends. Oh my gosh, it's late here, but it's early back home. <laughs> so I'm gonna make this video. Plus it's Friday. It's Friday and this message has been coming up. I've been thinking a lot about it. And in fact, I had a lot of time to think about it because I was driving for a very long time. And the entire time I was driving from Las Vegas, Nevada to where I am now in Miami, like North Miami Beach area, I was feeling into how wild this way of intuition working through me happened. It was really wild, it was really quick, but at the same time, there were hints and signals and signs all along. But what I wanna share with you is the feeling that happens that can lead us in our free will not to do a thing, even if it's right for us, even if it feels good. And that is the systems and the structures and the beliefs and the programs that we have. So I wanna talk about that with you for a moment. And before I go into it, I wanna invite you to play with this idea and see what is intuition asking you to do? What have you been guided to do? Now, when it comes to reading into intuition, there's a distinction. And the more we practice listening and learning to truly be in receiving energy, and I'll talk about that in a second, the more that we practice that, the easier it becomes to feel, is this life guiding me? Because if we're used to doing and forcing and fixing and getting things done, I want you to know that that there's but that was intuition telling us fix this. <laughs> Hold on. Mm. Hold on. I'm using a thing I don't normally use. Sierra, hi, says I've been getting a lot of messages. Can't quite decipher the meaning yet. Okay, so this might help you with that. I'm using this thing here and it might slip out again, but we're gonna risk it for a biscuit, as my daughter used to say. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Okay, because I have an important message. Okay, I'm gonna prop, I'm gonna prop, and I think this will work. Okay, here we go. <laughs> if it pops out again, it pops out again, and just squeeze out. Okay, so let's get back into it. So I forget exactly where I left off, but I have something valuable to share with you. So we're gonna just go, just go right in. Amanda, hi. Your daughter says that too. I've never heard it before, but I think it's so funny. Sometimes I say it too. So here we go. Um, and my hair is a little crazy because of the humidity, but anyway. So when I'm listening to intuition, it has to be truly in the receiving, right? So if we're truly in receiving, and this could be a whole, this could be a whole thing on its own, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna save some of this for Money Miracles that starts next week. When we're truly in receiving, we're doing nothing. Like truly, truly letting go, truly listening, truly watching, and I'll tell you that that is not a normal state for a lot of us. It is not the normal space of just like truly receiving. And I've been practicing this in meditation recently because I've been meditating a lot. And I've noticed that when I'm in a meditation and I'm trying to do a thing, like I'm trying to open my heart, I'm trying to listen deeply, I'm trying to connect to the quantum field. I've noticed and caught myself doing that. Have any of you done that? You're like trying. And I think that a lot of that was unconscious, but I've been coming, becoming more conscious and I'm like, just let go, just completely let go. And the interesting thing is I'm doing this a lot in a public place where I'm doing these walking meditations and I close my eyes for like 15 minutes at a time. And I can feel when I truly am just receiving and witnessing life versus trying to fix a thing, trying to find a thing, trying to open my heart so I can manifest the thing, trying to figure it out. There's a distinction and sometimes this can be very subtle. So for those of you that don't know, I, what was it? I think it was last, last Friday maybe, I put in 
a application and I was like, I wanna get this house. I wanna get this house in Las Vegas. I told the whole story, but to give you a little gist, by Monday, by Monday, I had realized, or it was Saturday that I realized I didn't get the place. And I was like, well, that's a bummer, but I feel like I'm being guided somewhere else. Saturday morning, I get an invite, a little nudge. It felt like a sign to come to Miami. And I said, yes, by Monday, I packed all my stuff in the storage and I, and I left. But the entire time I was driving here, we stopped in Arizona. We stopped in, we stopped in Arizona. Where else did we stop? I think we stopped, it was Texas. It was a random town. Yeah, Texas. Um, we tried to make it to Austin and I couldn't. I was too tired. <laughs> so we stopped at some random place in Texas. And then um, did we stop somewhere else? Florida. Yes, near Destin, and then we made it to Miami. All of this driving, I kept thinking the whole time, like, this is fucking wild. This is wild. Like, out of all the wild things I've done, which if you read my book, if you know the things that I've done, I've done a lot of wild things, and I've picked up and, like, followed my intuition places. But this time, it felt really wild. But I'll tell you, I kept getting these feelings and these stories that were like, this is crazy. This is this is wild. You should just stay here. And I started thinking like there was this comfort. Like I started thinking of the closest people that I have in my life, people that I really love. They're in, they're on the West Coast. And I was like, I'm going so far away. I do have people here that I love as well. But there was this, there was a voice. There was a saying, like there was a feeling like that is home. Even though I was born and raised outside of Philadelphia, like 45 minutes West of Philadelphia, um, California feels like home to me yet at the same time it doesn't which is weird I've like there's growth and change happening so I've been just sitting in this but I, the reason I bring it up here is because I had to follow a feeling but the familiar was saying don't do it the familiar was like it's inconvenient the familiar was like, that's a waste of money. You're going to put yourself in storage. It's going to be so much work. It's going to be so much effort. There was all this, as my daughter would also say, yap, 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 yap. <laughs> it was it, mentally, I could feel it and I could see it and I could witness it. And I was just like, that's interesting. That's interesting because I have the awareness. So I'm watching it, but I was listening and watching, but I wasn't obeying it. And here's why. And this is what I want you to have from this conversation. Because I know some of you are getting, you're either asking for guidance or you're receiving guidance because guidance is all around at all times. But we have to make the opening so that we're truly available to hear it, to feel it, to sense it and receive it. Not just go looking and trying to force our way. We can do that because we have free will, but there's power in this truly receiving. So coming here soon as i got here i was feeling i was a little you know feeling weird because i was in the car for way too long <laughs> and i was tired but when i got here i was like oh this feels good it feels right it feels like the last time i left which i was like yeah i really like it um but this morning when i woke up i was just like oh, thank god i did not let that voice those those um programs keep me from doing something that was going to benefit me. There was all this abundance that was showing up. Abundance is not just money, but it is money too. But there was just so much, like there was things that were clicking into place. There were people that were reaching out. There was um, just a feeling of a bigger energy that was present. And I was like, yes, I'm so glad I didn't do that. I'm so glad I didn't do that thing. I'm so glad I didn't listen to that voice and just do what was convenient because I'll tell you this, for those of you that ever end up in a situation like this, when I realized I wasn't getting that house, the house felt like a yes, because it was just, there was a few factors. It was cute, the price was great, it was in an area that I like and I know, and it was just really convenient. <laughs> there was a bunch of things and I was like, well, it's, it's easy, it's an easy make sense situation, like let me just move over there. And when it didn't work out, I could feel that there was this part of me that was like, let's go figure something out. Let's go figure something out. We'll, we'll figure something out. And then I was just like, no, there's, there's another part of me that I can sense is saying, pause, listen, get more clarity. And as I did that, I was willing to be in that unknown, 
to be in that in between, to be in the, I don't need to make a decision here. Even though I technically had to make a decision, I had to be out of my place. <laughs> I had to be out of my place by the 10th. So I had to make a decision, but I want you to catch this. I did not try to go force a thing. Hi, Jessica. I had to just literally be in the pause. And I'll tell you this, I've been meditating every day, sometimes twice a day for like over a month now actually since March 17th when I went and I'm talking about like long meditations like 45 minutes an hour or something like that I've been meditating meditating a lot and in that I've noticed that I have more capacity for truly listening for truly 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 surrendering <laughs> and being in that unknown of like I can watch that there's a part of me that wants to fix this and figure it out I can sense that part of me that's scared and saying you need to get this done. I can sense that part of me that is a program that says you need to have this thing figured out by this time or it's not gonna work or everything's gonna fail or you're being irresponsible. But there's something deeper that's always happening, but we have to make ourselves available for it. So that's what I want you to tune into. That's what I wanted to share with you. And I also was thinking about this today because as you know, I'm moving into Money Miracles, which starts on Monday. And I'm leading six live sessions and I started thinking, I want the women that come into Money Miracles to not come for inspiration. Like don't come for inspiration. Here's what I want you to come for. I want you to come for transformation. Transformation takes more than just listening to someone talk. It requires you to actually get into the work, to do the things, to really be present. And when we do that, we're overcoming a part of us. I overcame those voices. I overcame that programming that I had free will to choose. I was at the crossroads of a choose your own adventure. And I know that each and every one of you here are also at a choose your own adventure. What adventure are you being called to choose? Is there some sort of crossroads you feel that you're at? Is there some kind of place where you feel like, I'm being pulled in one direction, but something else is very present. And I want you to know, like, this is a sweet spot. This is an opportunity spot. This is a place where everything can change for you. And we have many of these times in life. It's not like, oh, this is the most important and I'll never be able to choose again. No, no, no. It's all the time. But there are times and periods and, and things in our lives where we're really going to be invited to make a choice that will be uncomfortable, inconvenient, and really in those times when it's most uncomfortable, when it's really sometimes inconvenient, I don't believe that everything great and important is inconvenient, but I think to our ego and to our comfort, it can feel inconvenient. Like, was it really inconvenient for me to move into all these things? I mean, it was an adventure, but in the sense of, you know, the things I had to do on Monday, that felt inconvenient. But if I didn't do that, I would have, wouldn't have had the adventure. <laughs> so, you know, it's just like allowing life to be not that serious, letting it be an adventure and seeing like, what does life want from you? And we can also look at it in, in a different language of like, what does the divine within you want you to express? Where are you being guided? And this intelligence wants us to be abundant. It wants you to be abundant. But you have that choice point, like you have that choice point to say, will I go here or will I go there? The voice is going to come up. It's going to say, it's too much money. You don't have it. It's inconvenient. You don't know how it's something bad's going to happen. Something this is going to happen. What's so-and-so going to think? Think of those voices that live in your head that keep you from making the decision that is going to open up everything for you. There's, there's something that's calling you, I know it, because it's calling all of us all the time. It looks different, it looks different for all of us because we all have one of a kind ways. We have one of a kind paths, we have one of a kind blueprints, we have one of a kind expression and genius. And in that, there's a way that that blueprint wants to unfold through you, but you have to make yourself available for truly listening to that blueprint, witnessing, watching, and having the courage, the faith, and the fortitude when it's time to step forward to do a thing that you know to trust what is the highest truth and not that program. And that really, I'm not going to say that it's easy. It's a practice. It takes faith. It's like learning the language of your soul. 
Maybe it's learning the language of spirit, whatever way you want to put it. So there's that. Um, before I let you go, what I want you to say or what I want you to tune into and what I want to say to you is if you were only to believe the wisest, highest, highest, most divine version of you. And if there was that voice within that you could connect to and that you knew that it was that from your highest and best, that it was knowing the, the most beautiful path for you, what would it have you do? If you were to connect with that, like connect to it, start to ask questions of it. We can plug in to all sorts of versions of ourselves. Throughout my days, I can feel when I've dropped into like an old version of myself where I might say something, I'm like, where did that come from? That's old. <laughs> like, that's old. It's not necessarily bad. It just feels like a version of me from like 2017 or something. It feels like a different version of Nicole. And then sometimes I feel like I'm tapping in. I was getting visions while I was driving this weekend or whatever the weekend. Was it the weekend? Yeah. No, it wasn't. It felt like a weekend friends you see what happens when you just go driving for three days you don't even know what day it is when I was driving I was getting these visions of a future me I was in a meditative state and there was like a vision of something I'll probably share with y'all very soon but it was like I'm tapping into the 2027 me 2026 me we all have this I'm not special we all have it but we can get so bound up so stuck so focused on a version of us that we're just tired of living or that it is no longer for us there's something new that life wants to express through us so i'm going to leave you with that i want to remind you all that monday money miracle starts i'm so excited for it if you're brand new join us if you've already done the program come in for the alumni there's a reason why i do the mastery which is for alumni only and that's to give you a space to get into six weeks of coaching with me for a price that you can't get into six weeks of coaching with me any other time. But we really raise the energy. We really open up our hearts. We really, especially in this round, we're really going to talk about the transformation. Like I said, this is not for inspiration. Will you be inspired? Absolutely, you will be inspired. But is it for inspiration? No. I have you coming in here because this is going to be transformational. The course itself, I recorded back in 2020. Some different videos are from 2021. I just added new pre-work. I'm gonna create a new walking meditation. There's so many bonuses that have um, culminated and that are gonna be delivered at the end of it. And that's from 2020 to 2023. Like there's a lot, there's a lot. But the live coaching sessions, we meet every Tuesday, and this is where I'm going to challenge everyone in here to really step up to the actual practices. I'm going to have things to help you stay accountable, to help you get inspired, and we're really going to overcome a version of us that has created everything that we know now. Not that she's not valuable, not that she's not important, not that she's not just really special, it's just that there's a newness that wants to emerge through you and there's a level of abundance that wants to be expressed through you and there's you that wants to meet you in a different way and i want to teach you how to do that i want to give you the tools and i want to give you the setup and my love to just be like we're gonna do this and we're gonna do it and it's gonna change us <laughs> sierra says i cannot wait i can't wait either i'm getting so excited and you see why i said i'm waiting it was supposed to start last monday but I just had a feeling, I was like, you know what? I want this to be exciting. I want this to be juicy and I'm going to be going to a way more juicy location. So I just knew it would be right. So I'm, I'm so grateful for all of you that joined and you stayed patient and you trusted the process. Um, and Tiara says, the way you communicate has been the link I've been missing with inside myself. Oh, forever grateful for the pool to jump into your world this year. I'm so glad you did. And I want to speak on this for all of us, because for those of you that are catching this with me live, some of you will, you know, watch this later, um, maybe here on Instagram. If you do say hello down in the comments, so I know you have, and maybe I'll share it on the podcast, but each and every single one of us that has something to create, there's someone out there that feels exactly what Sierra said. How many of you have felt that? Like I have felt that in people, I have certain teachers that I'm just drawn to them. There has been teachers, I shared this with a friend of mine, I was like listening to a book and the guy who was the original person, the original, um, I don't wanna put them out there, but the original guy, 
that had the wisdom and all the things. And now he has a business partner and they did a book together and the chapters that are not him, I just cannot, like it does not land for me. But when I listen to the other person, it is just like landing because there's resonance for me. It's a match. And I think I shared this with all of you here, but I definitely shared it on the podcast. I connected with Lisa Nichols um, when she was at Agape. And I just let her know, I was like, there's something about it. Every time I come to hear you speak, there is like the cells in my body are just like, you're reminding me of who I'm meant to be. Not because of her, but because her voice just does something, it lands. And she said that she believes we all have a bio match. Like biologically, there's matches, there's people that we are connected to. And I just got chills on my legs when I said that. And the way I feel it is like, our soul just knows that we have certain mirrors in this lifetime. We have people that we're meant to walk with, people that are meant to activate us. And it's just meant to be, it's like perfect puzzle pieces. So Sierra, I know that you are that for so many people out there, cause I know the work that you're doing in the world. And for so many of you that listen on, there's people that are activated by you. Don't you ever freaking forget it. It's part of your abundance, but just like following your intuition with moving or doing anything else, you're gonna have to follow that knowing into creating. You're gonna have to follow that knowing into using your voice. You're gonna have to follow your knowing to put on your live. I could say it's late, maybe I should shower, maybe I should put on makeup, maybe I should do all these things and then people will really care about what I have to say live. But no, I said, just sit your butt down, put the thing off, the phone popped off in the beginning. We're gonna keep this party going because somebody needs to hear it. If I wasn't called to share it, then that means that it wasn't meant to be. But if we're called and we feel a feeling, we have to overcome ourselves and get out there and do the thing. We never know what it's going to lead to, especially in the immediate, but you have to understand that everything's connected and life is not a short-term game. It's a connection, a long-term game. So we have to play it for that. So anyway, hi, Sarah. So good to see you. H Hello. Okay. So Jessica, know it. I'm glad you heard it. I'm so glad you got to hear it. And I want you to know, like, what does your intuition, what is that part of you that is just dying to be expressed and that knows that you have something to say? What does it need you to know and also on the flip side you can feel and tune into watching those voices remember those voices i said that i heard when i was leaving my place those voices are going to come up when you're going to step out there and do something big and bold we are going to be cultivated in our calling it's not ease and grace it is not ease and grace is there ease and grace available yes but to develop our character, to develop and cultivate the strength and the spiritual stamina and the fortitude, it is not ease and grace. We have to be developed. And developing is an interesting process. Sometimes it's fun. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's like, it's breaking me down. <laughs> Sometimes you feel like you spent all your money. Sometimes you feel like, I don't know what's happening. Sometimes you feel like, is what I'm saying even worth it? There's so many things that come up if you only knew you all, if you only knew what it's been like for me in the last eight plus years of starting my business. I just want you to know that you're not alone. Just like get the freak out there and start doing the things and be surrounded and surround yourself and immerse yourself around teachers that do that thing to you, that do that thing. If it activates you, get in that room. If it lights you up, stay in that space. If it feels expansive, if it reminds you of something, you can't afford to be without it. You've got to feed yourself. And what feeding yourself looks like, only you know. You only know what that looks like. Um, Sarah says, follow all the nudges. Oh, I did that. We planned a pop-up masterclass. No idea what to say. Just going to drop it. Love it. Yeah, no. And also the thing had gone, so I had to scroll. Okay. You just gotta do it. So all of us, we will be changed by showing up and we overcome those voices, those parts of us. For those of you, Jessica, by the way, I know you did Money Miracles. I wanna say you did the first round, maybe you did the second round a while ago, but if you still feel called, if you wanna be in that space, I would love to have you join us for the alumni, for the mastery. All right, friends, I gotta go. I have food cooking 
and it's literally needs to get out. <laughs> Is it Maddie Ray? You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm so glad you enjoyed. All right, my friends, stay tuned. I'll probably come through with another video this weekend because as I'm getting in the vibes for Money Miracles, if you have any questions about Money Miracles, reach out. And if you want to check out the program, see what it's done for other people. The other thing I want to say to all of you here is Money Miracles, and Sarah says do Money Miracles, bye. <laughs> bye. Thanks for sharing with the ladies. It's not a one and done thing. The reason I do alumni is this. Yes, to get into the coaching. Um, yes, to be in that space. But I'm here to remind you that the patterns that we have, uh, they're, not, they're not created in six weeks. And some of these patterns and some of these breakthroughs and some of these things that we're rewriting, reprogramming, it takes repetition. The subconscious mind is impacted by repetition. So when I'm inviting my Money Miracles ladies in and saying, let's do an alumni, join us, and I make the price wild because I want you to, I want it to be easy for you, for those of you that haven't done it before or that have already done it before, excuse me, because the repetition is what changes you. The repetition is what lands. It's the things that start getting you going. It's like, all right, the first time that was inspiring, the first time I had my breakthroughs, the first time I manifested some miracles, everyone has their own experience. I can't guarantee the miracles, but let's just say there's been a lot of them in there. And you can see that on the testimonial page. You can watch that in the videos. But it's the keeping in that energy. All right, my friend, what did you get from this episode? Take a moment to really be with it, to write it down, get to know where your intuition is speaking to you, get to know those voices that show up and reveal themselves and want to keep you safe and know that you overcoming that, moving beyond that, trusting in that still small voice and that that gentle nudging and knowing that there's more, that there's something else, there's something bigger, and that something else and something bigger is you seeking to express itself. I want you to take a moment and to be with that. That is my assignment to you on this podcast episode. And in the meantime, if you are not already signed up for Money Miracles, the link is down below. Sign up, take the leap, and in that jump right in, start the bonus materials, get working on the pre-work, start to feel that shift right now. Give yourself the gift and say, these next six weeks, I'm going to change my life. These next six weeks, I'm going to be a different human. These next six weeks, I'm giving 100% to waking up, recognizing and remembering the abundant soul that I truly am because it's time and I deserve it. And if you know someone that would benefit from this message that needs a reminder that's about to take a big leap in their life or just is in the midst of a juicy transition or even terrifying transition, send them this episode. Let them remember the truth about their inner guidance system and how life wants them to win. All right, my friends, until next time, stay miracle-minded. Bye.